when you're browsing the web you're really downloading files and these files get interpreted by your browser and they put things on the screens for you to read and view and so on now this line of text here is typical of what you would see in the code behind a web browser in other words this is the title of things that would be in the files that you download now what we're going to do we're going to say right this has come from that particular file and what I want to do I wish to extract the URL which I'm showing here and this is the URL for the website on which this video and other videos on Python are hosted now the idea is from the whole line to extract this to take a slice so we actually take out the URL for this particular website or any other website for that matter as we'll see as the video progresses if we actually now have a look at the text again the string again and we think of what this would look like in Python well I'm showing it here and you can see all of the characters have been placed in this representation this schematic representation of a string and you can see that they are indexed from 0 all the way up to 35 so every character has an index position within the string so if we have a look at the H for example we can see that here and it has index position 9 if we look at this M we can see that that is in in index position 33 and all of the other characters are in the index positions between this 9 and the 33 and the idea is we wish to take that slice from the overall line of text if we look at the text again the string again what we can now do we can represent it like this and this time if we look at the h we can see it's in this position at minus 27 because what we're looking at here is the negative indexing of the string which is allowed in python if we look at where the m is for example it is at minus three so we can see that we can both forward index and backward index a string in the way in which you've just seen through these two schematic diagrams we viewed regardless of which approach you take positive or negative indexing we're still in this particular case with negative indexing wish to take the slice we wish to extract the URL so if we look at this particular string again and let's draw another schematic diagram to represent it as shown here what you can see is I've shown the negative indexing and the positive indexing together so for example if we now look at the H here we can see that the H is in index position 9 as well as index position minus 27 now that means I can get at it the H that is using index 9 or index minus 27 if we look at the M we can see that that's here within the string and that's at index position 33 as well as being at index position minus 3 and we can make a choice as whether I want to go with positive or negative indexing regardless what I want to do I wish to take a slice consider this string here now I'm going to name this string HTML underscore string and the idea is from this string to extract this URL now to extract the URL we have to choose the correct index so the beginning and the end index so I'm going to start off by realizing I need to choose index 9 so I'm going to bounce a rectangle towards that here's the the rectangle so you can see that as selected index position 9 what I have to do is to mark where the stops going to be and of course the stop is represented by that bouncing X there and we can see that that's in index position 34 which is represented by that bouncing rectangle there so to extract the URL from this would mean I would need to do the following slice here you can see I've got URL now that's going to hold the slice it's being assigned here is HTML underscore string which is the name of the string this is the 9 which is the first index this is the 34 which is the last index and this one means take everything from 9 and stopping before you get to 34 ie going up to 33 if we now look at this URL and in this case what I wish to extract from the HTML string that I've called it is this here which is the URL and if you look at that URL you should identify that as being 
the URL for the Python organization, their website. Now, if I wanted to look at what indices this one has, well, I can see it's index position 9, and it's going to be the stop value at index position 26, as you can see by that bouncing rectangle there. And of course, the line of code that would extract the necessary slice is shown here. We use the name HTML underscore string. We can see we've chose index position 9, index position 26, and 1 meaning take every character from 9 and in next position 25 because remember we don't go as far as 26. Now this is all well and good but it works on the assumption that as a programmer I know how long the URL is going to be. So the trouble is this particular line of code would not work with this and this line wouldn't work with this one because they have been tailored specifically to the strings as shown on the assumption that I would know what's coming from the file I read in. Now obviously this doesn't make any sense. We're not going to know that as a programmer. We're not going to know how long the URL is when we're reading information from a file that represents a particular web page. Let's have a look at these strings side by side. Here's the first one, which is the python bitesize.com URL. And let's have a look at this one, which is the python.org URL. Now, what we can see about them, if you look closely, you can see that both of them have the same beginning. Both of the strings have the same beginning. See the less than sign followed by the A, a space, then href, then an equal sign, and then a double quote. And then we can see at index position 9 in both of them is where we have the H. So for both the top string you're looking at and the bottom, we can take the start value at index position 9 because we know the frontage of both of them is the same. If we now come here, we can see that the last two characters of the string are the same, the double quotes and the greater than sign. Now, if we look at the negative index, we can see that both of these share the negative index of minus 2. Whereas if we were to consider the positive index of these, we can see the top one is 34 and the bottom one is 26. Now, what this tells me if we know what we're going to read from the file has the same frontage to the string and the same end to the string, if I use the positive index for the start position of my slice and the negative index to mark the end point, the stop value, i.e. we don't go as far as the minus 2, then what we can do, we can take the URL from any size. In other words, here I've got Python byte size being bigger than python.org, but I could have a longer length of string representing a URL, and I would be able to use the position 9 for the positive index and the minus 2 for the negative index. Let's explain this further with reference to a snippet of code. And here you can see an appropriate snippet of code. If you look at the first line, you can see it's saying HTML underscore string is assigned and it's going to be assigned the appropriate string. Now, an important point, bear in mind these two here, these two quotes, are not part of the string that we're going to be analysing, that we're going to be slicing. They're just there so we can assign the appropriate string to the HTML underscore string name. Between these two quotes is the string we're going to be working on. So, in a sense, these quotes are needed so we can get a literal string. Remember, this is a teaching video, so we would actually be reading this in from a file usually. But this is the line that I'm setting up to set up the string that we're going to take a slice of. So, if we have a look at what that string now looks like, it'll look like this. And from this string, we're trying to extract this particular URL. So, if we look here we can see that the beginning of the URL is at position 9 in the positive index and minus 27 in the negative index. If we look here for the M, we can see that that is index position 33 in the positive forward direction or in the reverse direction, minus 3. Now, of course, what we're interested in doing is taking the slice from the two things as I marked off. And, of course, that can be seen by the next line. Because here you can see we're marking index position 9, which is the start of the URL. And if you follow the bouncing green rectangle now, 
you can see that appearing over the minus 2. Now what that is marking is the stop where we don't go to, which I'm going to represent by this bouncing x that's appearing now. Consequently, this minus 2 actually marks off this position here. So we can see that the slice starts at index position 9 and stops at index position minus 3. And of course this 1 here, well what that's going to do is to say take everything in this direction from the 9 to the minus 3. So we will extract this particular string from the overall string and we can see that that is the URL. So when the program now executes we can see that this line here outputs the entire string, the one from which we were going to extract the URL. And this line, well, that's going to print the URL, which is what was assigned at this point by this string notation. And we can see that when this line executed, it printed this out. And we can see that that is the URL for the pythonbitesize.com website. We'll look at the same snippets of code with a slight amendment. Here's the code and we can see the amendment is on the first line. What I've now done, I've actually changed the website from Python Byte Size website to the python.org website. So if we have a look, we know that these two quotes are needed so we can set up a literal string. But the actual string we're going to be dealing with is shown here. And of course, we're interested in extracting this from the string that you can see schematically below. So let's have a look at what we have in terms of the starting index position for the slice and the finishing. Well, we can see that the H, which is the beginning that we wish to take, is at index position 9 or index position minus 19. We can see that the O of OG is at position index 25 or index position minus 3. We can use either of those. Now, if we have a look at how we've taken the slice, we can see that we've taken index position 9, which marks the beginning of the slice. If you watch the bouncing rectangle highlighting the minus 2, that's going to mark off the position that we don't go as far as. Now that's going to be shown by this bouncing x here. Consequently, the minus 2 actually is referring to the minus 3. That's going to be the end of the slice. And of course, this 1 means we take the slice in this direction, taking every character from the string between the 9 and the minus 3 index positions. Consequently, the slice we take is this one here, which you can see is the URL for the python.org website. Now if we now run the program, this is what we get out. And we can see when we printed the HTML underscore string, we got the whole string that we were going to take our slice from. And when we printed the URL, we can see that we have this, which is the URL for python.org. Let's actually consider both of the strings again. Here we can see the first one, which contains the URL for the pythonbitesize.com website. And what we can see is that the index for this one, for this particular slice that I wish to take, is starting at 9, shown by this bouncing rectangle. And of course, what I have to do is make sure I mark the stop value, which is shown by this bouncing x, and I'm going to choose the negative value, the minus 2. And of course, the slice notation looks like this here, which we've already discussed in the previous two snippets of code. If I now look at this particular string, which contains the URL for the python.org website, and I have a look at the string I wish to extract from this, I wish to extract this here. Now, clearly, both of the strings, the top one and the bottom one, are of different lengths. And the URLs for the first one is bigger in terms of the number of characters than the URL for the second one. But if I now decide to mark off the beginning point for this particular URL, the python.org one, I can see it's at position 9. If I choose the negative indexing, I can actually say I don't want to go as far as why this x is marking. So I choose the uh, minus 2 index on this. So you can see that 
you can choose the positive index and the negative index so you can mix these up and this is the string notation here and you should see that this and this are the same meaning that this particular string notation will work for both these strings that have the different URLs and of course if I had another string with a different URL representing a different website then both of these would work for that of course I'm working on the assumption here that the beginning of the string ie this lot and the end of the string ie this lot are the same but you can arrange for that by using other functions to extract from the file that represents the web page that you're looking at what we're doing here is once we've got that string where we can identify the beginning and the end as being the same you can see that mixing the indices having a positive to begin with and the negative to mark the stopping point we can achieve this relatively easily whereas if I was just to choose positive indices it wouldn't work as we showed earlier in the particular video check out the supporting website for these videos and also consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and get an automatic update every time I upload a new video also consider subscribing to the Google Plus circle that relates to these videos